you guys we just got off our plane and that was like the worst plane ride ever but thank god we're alive but honestly we were feeling so sick that me and Brittany literally almost threw up mo was having a heart attack dude that was a near life death experience cause... she was like <sighs> like everyone in the plane was so scared guys it was like so crazy but anyways so our plane that we just took right now landed uh, so late and then our connecting flight was three minutes after it landed so we missed our flight because we had no time to even get off we were sitting all the way in the back of the plane so by the time we got there to our connecting flight they're like oh you guys this plane is done you guys can't get on no more so now we have to wait but i do have good news airy lands right now in new york in a little bit so i think we're taking the same plane ride as her so that's only good news. Brittany's at the bathroom throwing us. I just finished throwing us. So. We're gonna eat, probably have a beer, you guys, because this is awful. And by the way, you guys, I forgot to mention that this is a girls' trip. Um, only girls. It's gonna be me, Brittany, Mo, and then Ari and Amy. They are meeting us up. Um, so yeah, we're all just here. Like this Brits. Girls. We're excited for this girls trip. Like I know you guys love the girls trips. We normally do one and we try to once a year. Yeah, we try to once a year, especially now that we don't live with. Twenty eighteen, um, we did before you got pregnant. One of my friends Yeah. When you got pregnant, we did it because obviously you were pregnant. And then after that, this is like this is our first girls trip after your pregnancy. Yeah. So we've only missed one year. Yeah, we always try to do this. So, um, yeah. I'm so excited. I love girls trips. I feel like I'm so sleep deprived. Like I'm turning delusional right now. Like I'm not all there right now. And like have you guys ever felt that way? Like when you're you know when you first have a baby and you're at the hospital and you're so sleep deprived. Like I feel like I'm turning crazy right now. Like I'm seeing me too. Well, this is my third year because I'm literally on we're running on like what three hours of sleep. Yeah, um so like sleepy. We've been up since five in the morning. Here in New York it is six forty nine. So Toast. And you guys, the whole time we've been flying, like doing this whole process, doing this whole process is a whole day, and a whole day coming back. So yeah. Traveling is two we days. wasted like one day, two days. Yeah, the whole trip. Yeah, trip. I'm so tired. Like I could literally go to sleep right now. Like I just need me a bed, please. It talks about like the traveling process, like yeah. getting there. This shit is hard. Like this shit will make you not want to do shit the first night. Yeah. Until the next oh, day. Yeah, it's really hanging on by the guys. You guys good news. We finally made it. We landed. <sighs> this flight was difficult guys. So we're waiting for our friend Ari. And Amy's already at her hotel. At our hotel, whatever. Yeah, she so. got the first cause she got here like four hours before, three hours before. Yeah. We were supposed to get here with Amy, but uh, the, so we got here with Ari. The plane ride fucked up. Yeah. So we rented a car, guys. Thank God we were being smart this time and not taking shuttles or taxis because you never know. We're trying to be safe out here. You guys, we've been having like the worst fucking life, so tell me why. We, get, we rented a car because we missed our flight. Because of the fact that we missed our flight, they canceled our reservations to the rental car. So we called other rental spots and there's absolutely no rentals to rent. And so we're gonna at this point probably take a taxi. It's already like one, two, almost two in the morning. Like most of you struggling. And you know what I noticed that like Ramiro and Fernando make the most complicated things so much easier. Like for us it's just so bad. So we just touched down to the hotel finally. What time is it Ari? 2.35. 2.35. But overall, you guys, the hotel is really, really beautiful, really nice. We're staying at the Hyatt. So it's pretty dope. We're just trying to get in, checked in. We also went to the gas station and because since there's nothing open to eat, we're going to eat Lunchables. We just got to our hotel. It's so beautiful. Like, I love the vibes that's going on here. And then uh, we got connecting rooms, so the other girls are over here on this side. Yeah, that, that was fun. Well, hello, Ames. You don't even know the struggle that we just fucking went through right now. Dude, the bitch has 
Friends. You've been thriving? Boyfriend. Side boyfriend. Daddy. Yeah, y'all, you just need us a sugar daddy. <laughs> and you're set. And a husband. There you go. Well, you'll find this one this weekend. Good morning, everybody. We just woke up. It is not really morning right now, but it's one o'clock. And we're outside. We didn't get ready or anything. Look at Brina's now. You guys are coming out. But look at our resort. We stayed at the Hyatt again because when we went to Cancun, we, we also stayed at the Hyatt. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but this is our hotel and it's so beautiful. You guys, just FYI, this isn't an all-inclusive resort like the one in Cancun. I guess here in Puerto Rico, there's no all-inclusive hotels don't quote me on that but we checked a lot of hotels and there's not there was none that came up with all-inclusive so it's still pretty dope it's beautiful there goes Ari and Mo looking like some baddies and yeah it's just giving me like jungle vibes like I love it it's so green so beautiful so you guys were here with the girlies everybody this is more of a re relaxation um vacation but with the we're girls. Still having it's gonna be late because it's a girls' trip, so. and we're gonna make it lit with music. Like as you guys can tell here, there's no music going on, no, no really vibes, just, just vacation vibes, relaxation vibes. But we're gonna bring the vibes over here. I regret putting on the gloss. Why? The wind is just. Oh, throwing. I just put chapstick, so it's not like. The wind is like throwing it on my face. I remember showing you my face, but it's my face. Dude, I don't even know where the truck is at. Neither. But okay, you guys. So this is the vibes right here. This is where the vibes were at. We were in the wrong spot. We were. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You guys. So we just ordered a few shots. But you guys, we we can't um post up at the bar because due to COVID, there can't be like no bars open, so we can't lay out right there. So we're here right now. You guys, so we're back at the hotel. We're getting ready right now, and I'm like a little fucked up. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I don't even know if I'm getting ready now. I'm like, me get it now, too. Guys, me and Ari finished. We're like the only ones done right now. Yes. Brittany's almost done, so she'll be the third, and the most done, too, actually. actually. And then Amy. I need yeah, you to, okay. Fuck, yeah. everyone's almost ready. G God Jesus Christ. <laughs> but this is the outfit. Okay, we're gonna so step cute. out. And you guys, I'm so mad because we're not even drunk. Like this whole trip, I haven't even gotten drunk. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Ari's gonna go take my picture. She's gonna be my photographer. Yes. Thank you. Hire so, me if y'all want your pictures taken. Yeah. They won't be professional, but you know, I try. Okay. Guys, well, if you want, Ari. Guys, look, everyone is ready. Brittany is ready. I'm trying to see if I should wear these over there. We are ready. We just finished. Uh, Ari's ready. Amy and Bree is ready too. We're gonna hit um, La Placita in San Juan, so it's about to be a lit as fuck. I can't wait because today was cool and all, but this is gonna be like the real deal type shit, you know? Like right now we're just resort chilling, which you're not really like feeling the vibes of actual Puerto Rico. You're just like stuck in a resort. So this is gonna be like the real deal type shit. And you guys, we ended up doing eyelash extensions for the trip just because like it's 10 times faster getting ready real quick. And I 100% agree because all I gotta do is throw on your foundation and contour and like it's a wrap, so. Why? There goes Mo. So Mo's ready, you guys. Look at her, she yeah, looks so bougie, so oh, cute. Thank you. I love it. I love the vibes. Bingo, I'm ready to mingle. Yep, Maybe you guys heard. Puerto Rican poppies want to say what's up. The Puerto Rican poppies. You guys mm -hmm. better holla because Mo's holla ready. Girl. Yep, because this is the only time you guys can shine and throw your shot at Mo. I oh, know. There's no Puerto Rican poppies in California. And you guys, she knows how to throw it down with Mexican food, Puerto mm -hmm. Rican poppies. So. You don't even have to travel all the way to Cali for Mexican food. Yeah, Mo got it. 
All right, you guys, so we're here to La Tacita and there's so many people, like, it looks pretty late. So the curfew is at 12 o'clock, so we need to hurry up. It's like 8.30 right now, if not even later. So we're just trying our best right now. But the spot is like, it looks so lit, watch. So this is how it's looking like, you guys, it's so lit. This club that we're going to is called Agua Ambiente. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. But, let's see. I don't know. This club is lit. You know where I be. It's a lit situation. the next day Ari is so hungover like really bad she's been throwing up you guys will see me back on Monday alright Monday? well when we get back Monday oh why Ari why are we that doesn't make sense yeah I'm like you're just hungover as well girl like you just need to and then this is Amy me and Amy are sort of matching this is my outfit and then Vicky and Brittany and then Vicky and Brittany are matching yeah me and Vicky are matching we're gonna go get some biche and. Oh, we need a mask. Yeah. We're gonna go get some biche and go eat. It is the next day and we're a little hungover, so. You guys, I'm sad because it's raining. So, hopefully, when we walk out, it's not raining no more. Because that's gonna ruin everything. Okay. 
Good morning, you guys. It's one o'clock because the time change is on another level. Three hours ahead. So right now, really, it should be like, I don't know. My math in my head be off. So, but we are gonna go eat some type of seafood. So we'll see how that goes. Ari had to stay in because she's so hungover right now. Okay. <laughs> it's so pretty because it's so humid right now. I do not like this weather right now. It's so humid. And it's like, oh my god, like, can I like. Gloomy? Ha and musty. Yeah, like. It's very humid. Yeah, that's the word, humid. This reminds me of Tulum, the Tulum weather. Yeah. And DR too. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, look at this cute bird. He said, we will to me. Hi! Do you want to sit down here? No, don't do that. Hi, baby! Hi! I love that. What are you doing, man? That's what we're doing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, Boricua. Bendito, nene. What do you do? Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's more than the Venezuelan, the Colombian. Oh, the Colombian. Oh, el mozo, el mozo, el mozo. Es el acento que me mata. Sí, quiero ir a Colombia. Sí. You guys, we love it. The Puerto Rican accents here. They're so beautiful. Y entonces tú puedes ya hacer los dos acentos, ¿verdad? Porque estás acostumbrado. Pero tengo mal acento dominicano, nunca he perdido mi acento. Sí, los puertorriqueños, ah, sí. Pero se me salen. Yo voy a Santo Domingo y creen que yo hablo como los puertorriqueños. No, eso no sabe. Pero yo vivo de los 15 años, yo tengo 41. Ajá. No, es que sí, pues sí, ya tanto tiempo, sí. I wish I had that accent. Me I'm gonna too. Learn it. This restaurant is so pretty, guys. It's right next to the beach. It's called La Parrilla. And our Uber driver was so nice, huh, you guys? Yeah, he's from the Dominican you Republic. Guys are Parents are bothering me because I keep trying to check them in and they keep coming out. So I'm about to check them in again. Look at this. Ari did not come with us. Like I can't believe her. She's hungover. She's so freaking hungover. Look what Brie has to do, you guys. We came to this restaurant called La Paria, and it's like famous for like lobster. I guess it's um, Puerto Rican food also. And we got like a little wannabe paloma. It's toronja. They don't know what palomas are out here. So I was just like, give me toronja with um, tequila. So that's what we got here. You guys, we've never tried Puerto Rican food, but I don't know what to get. I don't know what well what I would like, but I think so. Amy wants camarones empanadas. I I want to try the mofongo because I guess it's really popular here. So you guys, you guys Over here. We're trying to get a lift back home, but it's damn near impossible to get any taxi over here. Okay, guys, so. No puedes traer más. Popotes porque es en Europa. Porque está muy chupar. Más que, más que. Para chupar. Más que, más que, es verdad, dilo, dilo. Es que para chupar. No, dilo que dijiste, más que. Porque es difícil. No, popote, popote. ¿Cómo lo dicen ustedes? Sorbeto. 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 ¿Me puedes traer un sorbeto? Sorbeto. It sounds like a guy's name. Hola, Sorbeto. It sounds like I'm ordering food. What is this? Okay, so this is jalapeno poppers and then cheese balls. Okay, I'd rather have the cheese balls. I want jalapeno poppers. Is it good, Brie? Wow. These are jalapeno poppers. And then these are cheese balls. Oh my god, it's so hot. Fire? It's good. It's good? Fire eats? It's good, right? You do horrible taste test. Amy? Horrible. I'm not a like a lot of stuff. So this is my food, you guys. I got um chicken with pasta. Oh my god, it looks, mine actually looks pretty good. You guys just look so bomb too. Amy got red chicken. I mean, um, shrimp, my bad. All right, you guys, so we are ready. Um, today's Saturday, and Ari was the only one really hungover today, but she's alive, you guys. She's I'm back. Alive and, and 
she's back and ready. So today we're gonna turn the fuck up. We're going back to La, Plac La Placita. You guys, how cute is this? Look. There's a wedding going on, a destination wedding. So cute, that's my dream, a destination wedding, so. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Oh, look, they look so nice. Aww. Aww, it is so beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so this is a new restaurant that we came to in La Placita. And we got some empanadas with appetizers so far, so. Alright you guys, so we just left the club and we just got to a gas station. Luckily, one of our taxis was able to come and pick us up. So we're gonna get some munchies and call it a night. You guys, look at everybody, you guys, look at everybody trying to grab munchies. I need a basket. Like, OMG. Yeah, can we grab one or two? Two. Here, I can help you. You guys, it's because everything here, there's a curfew in Puerto Rico. So, everyone needs to be indoors by 12. So, there's nothing open. There's no fast food. Literally, nothing is open. So, we got to deal with this type of stuff. And then, our hotel has no room service. So, that sucks. I'm sad. Sad trip, but it's okay. Because we knew taking this trip during COVID... Guys, I'm about to make me a sandwich, so we brought no freaking, what the fuck, what the heck, why is this not open? Okay. We're going to call it early night, guys. We didn't really get fucked up. I'm sad. Yeah, who, who's on to take a shot? Wow, Amy. Oh, we have tomorrow. Um, let's uh, let's wake up early. Let's go get breakfast, oh, and then we'll ask Maria if she can take us to the liquor store. We'll buy beer because I like okay. sipping on beer too uh, at the beach. So we can sip on beer, no, and then I have my backpack for my carrots. So one bottle of this. Seriously misunderstood creatures, spiders are. I love it. You like it? I love it. Are it's it's and nurse some sort. Yeah, because as through as well, we'll pop, we'll finish two bottles in one day. Like, that's like, that's the plan. You guys, since we have to wake up early, maybe we don't want to be able to get fucked up early. Yeah. That's, I said, that's the plan. Literally, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Alright, so done with that plan. I love it. Good. Bye. I did meet a Dominican puppy, so. Yeah, Mo met a Dominican puppy. Mo tried. Yeah, you guys, so uh, we came home and we're a hot mess right now, so we went to the gas station and everything's closed, so I made myself a little sandwich. sandwich. Where the fuck is my bona? It's curfew over here, which everybody has to be in their rooms by like 12, so everything closes by like 10, 11 p.m., like all the clubs, so therefore, With that being said, we can't even get no food or anything, so that's why we're eating this. And also, our resorts, everything is so packed. So, like, their service here is kind of bad. Like, it takes like one or two hours to get a drink. I swear, huh? We couldn't even get a Lyft or no, we couldn't even get an Uber. Uber, taxi, like, nothing. We should have done our research more because there's curfews because of COVID. So. Good morning, my loves. It's what? You guys, we literally have a freaking short hair. Look, we're stocked up. Look at here. Our fridge. Mm, I'm gonna buy a bottle. Because it's literally nearly impossible to try to get drinks here. It's the last day here. Well, not last day because tomorrow's our last day but tomorrow we're just gonna wake up and leave so i'm sad but last night was kind of a fail we still had fun though but we didn't really do much um 
And this is my outfit for today. I have like these brown bottoms under here to match the top, but this is a skirt. It's okay. I got it from Icon Swim from the City Girls collection because you know we motherfucking City Girls. City Girls up. City Girls up. And look at Brittany's fine ass. Mm -hmm. Damn. She a tiger. Where? So the girls are back there getting ready. We're about to dip soon. And just, we're just gonna um, have a pool day and just get drunk because we really haven't gotten drunk the whole time being here. Um, so we're gonna just day fade and then go to sleep because you guys know there's a curfew out here. Um, so anyone that is coming up Puerto Rico, I recommend you guys come out here once the curfew is over. I'm not too sure when the curfew is going to be done, but yeah, I highly recommend just because by 12 a.m. in the middle of the night, you guys, everyone needs to be indoors because if you're not, you're going to get a ticket and they're really, really strict over here, believe it or not, because we thought coming over here like, oh, like, you know how Mexico, the cops are so corrupted and like they have everything open because, you know, they want money to come in through their businesses, like bars and clubs and stuff. But no, out here, since I guess like they're part of the U.S., like they're really like with their protocol, like they... Yeah, more than the U.S. There's a lot of places in the U.S. that don't give a fuck. Like, they don't care about COVID. They're like, come in, come in. But no, not over here. Like, they are taking that so serious, which is good, you know? But if you want to come and you're spending money out here, I recommend you guys come after curfew. After the curfew's over and everything's done with. Because it kind of sucks being in by 12. And, you know, like, we wanted to get drunk and everything. You can't even buy alcohol. It's so hard. All like the food spots are closed by 11. So that's been like a little bit of a downside of this trip. But either way, we're having a good time. Like I said, we're using this as a relaxation type of trip. That's what we said. We're forced, we're forced to see that because we're like, we got to think positive. of the bright side and think positive. We're just going to be outdoors enjoying our view, the ocean, the pool, the bar. And all that, so yeah. But we're ready, guys. Everyone looks oh, so cute. Brittany has to wear this backpack because that's what she keeps the big camera. Oh, thank, thank you. you. The camera crew. Then we got Mo. Look at her outfit. It's I'm just cute. the hype team. Yeah. Part of the hype. Team. And then I got the beach bag, guys. I gotta show you guys what's in my beach bag right now when I get it sec. <laughs> to stop, I wanna show you guys what we keep in the beach bag. We have any. Guys, so me and Brittany and Mo were like, we're dipping and we're leaving Ari and Amy because they got room service, but we didn't want room service because we don't. I'm tired of sandwiches. Yeah, we're tired of sandwiches, so we we're like, let's get carnita tacos again. So, and it's so hot, guys. Like, it's oh my Puerto God, Rico is so hot. Like the sun burns you. Did you guys put sunscreen on? Uh, I didn't, but I have that in the back. I'm over here telling them what I, I have in the back. Oh and I was supposed to do a what's in my beach bag. Okay. Look at how pretty our resort is, guys. It's so pretty. There's maps to get around. Oh, there is like five pools. And for future reference, guys, this uh, resort is called the Hyatt Grand Regency. This is the Hyatt Grand Regency in Rio Grande. So this resort is not in San Juan, and San Juan is where it's lit. We're 30 minutes away from San Juan. Look at my head wrap, friends. We stopped at the beach. Yeah. Wow, you guys went. Dude, and you know what? This bumblebee keeps fucking with me. The back wrap. A bumblebee keeps fucking with Brittany. Dude, those are her. Uh, you know, it landed on my eyebrow and it stayed on there and I was like, I could have sworn there's something on my eyebrow, but I said, go like this. It's still on there. It's not moving. It's stuck to my skin. I hey. go like this and I force it off of me. So be careful. Dude, I'm getting mad because I can't out. open this shit. Here, Ari. Oh, wait, look. I found the cutout. This was in the beach bag. And this was in the beach bag. And this was in the beach bag. Oh. Hello. 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 Oh, I 
Give it a give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in our next video.